The Belmont Paperlike Screen Protector, is it a good screen protector to use with your iPad and your Apple Pencil? Absolutely. Is it gonna be a good screen protector to use with games? Absolutely. Now for the rest of this review, I'm gonna talk about the design of the product, the functionality of the iPad with it on, specifically the wear and tear, and finally the protection it probably won't offer your iPad. And we'll buy reviews, ain't mine, T and I, base all our reviews on actual usage. We're reviewers, not influencers. Honestly, who's gonna cut the screen protector in half just to show you the clarity difference between, well, a naked part and the non-naked part. Now, while coming up with this review, I realized that with iPhones, I've gone through hundreds of screen protectors, but with the iPads, I've only gone through a handful, and the ones that I've actually bought up until this point have always been matte screen protectors. On the iPad 2 and the iPad 3, I had a Moshi one. On the original OG uh, iPad, this beast uh, still has the matte screen protector that I bought. I don't remember what the brand was. And as I was looking at this, what was Apple thinking with this case? Now when it comes to fit, the Belmont Kent paper screen protector extends past the viewable area. There is a cutout for the notch at the top as well as two other sensors at the top. The amount of coverage that you get along the edges will be based entirely on your ability to install the screen protector properly. Now I'm no stranger to installing screen protectors, but this Belmont product includes absolutely nothing that will help you with the install. It takes time, a lot of patience to line stuff up, then you gotta smooth it down, then you gotta remove a bit more of the film, smooth it down. At the end of the process, you just kind of like cross your fingers and you're like, oh, I really hoped I lined everything up properly. Now my best attempt only resulted in mild off-centering, but the off-centering is kind of on the wrong side. Now I do have a tip for you guys when it comes to install, which I'll cover at the very end. The screen protector also works well with every single case that I've used with the iPad Pro to date. Now I had no issues with the adhesives over the last few weeks of usage. Non-glass screen protectors tend to be prone to gaps when you press down hard on them, but not the Bellamon one. Now this screen protector is extremely thin, so I would really hope there's no bubbling. Like that would be so terrible for these guys if that was the case. Now when using my iPad in this screen protector, it's really hit and miss. I had no issues with sensitivity with my fingers or the Apple Pencil, but the fingerprinting eventually became an issue. Now it's not as terrible as glass as the matte finish does do a good job of hiding the face grease that you put on the device. The finish on the screen protector will also act as a fine pumice stone as rubbing your protector hard enough will remove dead skin cells. Grody! Now the screen protector is gonna wash out your screen. The matte finish tends to scatter the light, which makes it a little more annoying to find you know, a decent working angle slash location. The difference is really noticeable after we cut the screen protector in half. Light reflections look manageable on the naked screen where it just looks absolutely terrible on the Belmont. Now I will say that this looks pretty bad, but when you've got either nothing on it or everything on it, <laughs> not just half, you kind of won't notice it. But I'm doing this to illustrate to you, uh, to give you a good example of what's gonna happen to your screen if you get this product. Now, if you've been with this channel long enough, you'll know that by this time, I would probably go on a rant or some sort of tangent. But if you are getting this product, you're not getting it for the uh, great viewability. You're not getting it for the protection. You're getting it because it kind of feels like paper. And on that front, I cannot complain. Using my Apple Pencil with the screen protector uh, for the last few weeks has just been spectacular. <laughs> now part of my enthusiasm comes from, you know, actually buying the bigger iPad and using it for the first time. The extra two inches in the diagonal is just huge for me. So this is part of the isolation video series that I'm doing since everyone's sitting at home doing their thumbs watching YouTube or other hubs of video stuff. This channel is completely unsponsored. I had to buy Monty's time myself. So if you want to help the channel keep going, consider getting all your stuff through my Amazon links. It doesn't have to be the thing that I link to, just as long as you use my link to get to Amazon. So with this, you could push the link. It'll be like Bellamon, Kent Light Paper, like Screen Protector. And you can like delete that and put in hand sanitizer because everybody needs to stockpile that stuff. Search by Amazon Prime. It'll show up in a month. You get your product. I get to keep my channel, everybody wins, including Jeff Bezos. I personally have always defaulted to the smaller iPads, like the 9.7 inch as well as the 11 inch. I had a mini for a couple of years, but that was just kind of, I found it way too useless, too small, especially after, you know, you start using a plus size iPhone. It just didn't quite make any sense. For me, the 12.9 inch is a literal workhorse. And I think I like it that much as something to help me do all these reviews is because it's the size of a piece of paper. Like it just physically looks 
like I can do work on it, if that makes any sense. Now, when I'm using my Apple Pencil with this product, it actually feels like I'm using paper. It provides just enough friction that it feels like the tip of the Apple Pencil is actually digging into the screen protector. On a normal iPad, the Apple Pencil just slides around because it's just glass. Now, as a side note, if you're wondering why I'm, I keep saying the word Kent, I'm referencing Kent paper, which is what the screen protector is trying to mimic. Kent paper is a type of paper from England. I didn't know that. Did you guys know that? Honestly, despite the poor viewability of this product, I'm actually very disappointed to swap this screen protector out for a glass one. I'm reviewing a Tech Armor one next, but there's two that comes in this package, which is another cherry on top of this paper-like Sunday. Now, the other reason why I wanted to get the screen protector was for gaming. My current addiction on my iPad is still Call of Duty Mobile, and unlike previous Call of Duty games, I haven't actually gotten sick yet of the game. That's from the game. Now I'm not a console gamer, so adding a controller to it is kind of a no-go for me. So I always play with my thumbs on the screen. With this screen protector, the Bellamont has made my occasional extended gaming sessions more manageable as my fingers don't get as tired or sore as quickly. Now as a side note, I've started a Mobile Reviews A Clan on Call of Duty Mobile, MRE Clan. So if you are wanting to play a handful of games with me each day, do join that clan. Now I'm not gonna do anything serious with it. I'm not going out for prestige or trying to rank up. I just It's just gonna be a place where if you guys play that game, I can hang out with you for a few matches a day. Now I play approximately six games a day and the area where my thumbs go, it's definitely smoother. You can't visually see that I've worn it out a little bit, but it is definitely smoother. But it's still better than normal glass. Now when it comes to protection, this screen protector I don't think is going to offer your iPad much protection. Now, in terms of, you know, impact face protection, it shouldn't be that much of a problem because most of the time our iPads are in some sort of case that is magnetic. And so when you drop it, there's a good chance that it's going to be the cover that soaks up all the damage. Whereas on our iPhones, it's the face, always the face. The only thing that I've been worried about when it comes to my iPads from a damaged perspective is scratches. And this screen protector will prevent, will prevent minor scratching. This is screen protector that gets scratched. Now, if you're wondering how hard it is, it has a hardness on the Mohs scale of at least two. Three will definitely mark it up. So it's it performs like every other piece of plastic I put on a device. It will scratch at three, not at two. Definitely not six or seven. And the Apple Pencil will not scratch it. Despite my attempts to draw a circle multiple times in the same spot, I didn't see that part wearing down quickly. So that's all I got for this product. If you have been using matte or paper like screen protectors, let me know what other brands I should go check out. If this is the first time you watch one of my videos, this is part of the isolation video series where I do a video a day. I think for this video, it's probably closer to 34, 35, I think. Before we end it all off and you guys go watch the bloopers, I think there are some bloopers, I don't remember. It's 11 o'clock at night, I'm tired. For the tip for the install is that all these steps they tell you, you know, turn it sideways, do everything. What you need to do before you do all of that is to figure out what the working side of your iPad is. Now for me, the working side is going to be the side that is opposite the Apple Pencil. So the Apple Pencil sits at the top here. I started the install process where the Apple Pencil is. And so the fit between the edge and the screen protector by the Apple Pencil is like really, really tight. And then at the bottom here, it's a lot wider. But the problem I have with my setup is that the edge of the screen protector is not abrasive, but you can definitely feel it. And this is where all the gesturing happens on my device. I always gesture up here because I've got the Apple Pencil um, on the opposite side. So if I was to reinstall it, there's two, so I will reinstall, is that I will turn it around so that the Apple Pencil side's facing me. I'll line it up really tightly on this edge and then leave a bit more gap at the top of the device. So that's my tip for you guys if you are planning on getting the screen protector. Using the smaller iPad as a teleprompter, it fits way nicer. You may notice that I don't do this as much because the screen actually fits on the mirror, but you know, whatever. Is a good screen protector to use with your Apple Pencil? Uh, I forgot my Apple Pencil upstairs. Stay. The 
the Belmont Paper Like Screen Protector. Is it a good screen protector to use with your Apple Pencil and your iPad? Apple Pencil and your iPad? To be used with your iPad and Apple Pencil. Pencil. It's 10.47 at night. <laughs> this is gonna be such a painful video to get through. The Belmont Paper Like and Mobile Reviews A Monty and I base all our reviews on actual usage. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I think I'm done. My eyes bloodshot yet? They they feel like they're getting bloodshot. <sighs> so I really wanted to have a beer today, but I couldn't because I have. If I did, I wouldn't be filming it at night. I'd be filming in the morning. I don't think I would have enough time to finish the video. But right before the lockdown was coming, I kind of thought to myself, going to buy a ton of food. Gonna buy a ton of booze. Not a ton of booze. I'm not a big drinker, but I do like beer. So like I'll drink like three to four cans on a weekend kind of thing. Not a whole lot. And so I do drink some tequila and some uh, rye or whiskey during the week while I cook. And so like I bought a bunch of beers and two things of hard alcohol and that lasted me for an entire month. And so I went back, did my grocery every two week grocery run as well as my monthly alcohol run. I finished most of my alcohol I think two days, so it's been nine days. And so I went and ordered beer. The One of the breweries that I really like has this like, uh, what's that Japanese rice booze? The uh, sake. So there's a Japanese restaurant in town. The owner was actually on Netflix, one of those Netflix cooking shows, but he uses a whatever sake is left over and he gives it to this brewery. And so this beer from this brewery called Old Beautiful is just incredibly smooth. It's so very, very crushable. And like, I just got that flat of that stuff delivered and I was just like, I can drink it. I can drink it, but I gotta do this video. And here I am. Oh, now I have to yawn. What did you do to me? Your turn.